What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp interior design tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about displaying different options using layers inside of your SketchUp models. Um, if you're looking for more great SketchUp tips, make sure you check out my SketchUp tips guide at the SketchupEssentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so there are a few different ways that you could uh, kind of approach the way that we're gonna do this. But basically what we wanna do is we have a space, an interior space, and we want to look at several different options for different kinds of furniture and other things that could live inside of that space. So before I get started, model credit for this model goes to the Apartment Loft by Daniel Ong. Um, you can find this on the um, you can find this on the SketchUp 3D warehouse. You can download this model and kind of follow along. And what I've done first is I've gone ahead and I've taken all the furniture in this model and I've kind of grouped it all together. So at least in this particular room. So I've taken all of this furniture, including the bed and this little uh, hanger thing, and then uh, the chair up here. I've put that all into one group. And you can find that group in the outliner. You might even consider or renaming that something like furniture option one and I will note this isn't super organized like most models uh, from the 3d warehouse um, everything's not exactly organized it's just all kind of dropped in here if you were to model this from start to finish this might look a little bit different but what we want to do is we want to start off and we want to take this group so the group that's called furniture option one and we want to create a layer and so in order to create a layer you're gonna go into the layers toolbar on the right hand side of your page and uh, you're gonna click the plus button and you're gonna create a layer and we're going to call it furniture option one so that gives us a layer that we can then put this group on so we're just going to take this group and we're just going to click on this drop down right here and we're going to select that furniture option one layer and so what that means is that means that we can now turn this furniture on and off um, whenever we want to so you can see how by clicking on this eye I can turn the furniture on I can turn it off um, so that I can make it visible or not visible and so now what we want to do is I've downloaded some other furniture from the 3D warehouse and uh, some furniture manufacturers actually have collections of furniture that you can download. So in this case, this is a uh, Natchuzi Italia. So I assume that it's an Italian company, but it has this whole model in here with their different furniture options, which you can then um, pick them and grab them and move them into certain places. So what I did is I downloaded this uh, Natchuzi Dolce Vita vignette um, furniture set into my model and it's kind of off to the right hand side here and what I've done is I've kind of exploded this so that the different parts are in here um, separately just so it's a little bit easier for me to move everything around and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and I'm going to take these pillows and I'm going to put all of this in a group and I'm just going to move this across and into my scene over here. So, and one thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna move this back against the wall. Kinda like this, but off the wall just a little bit. And we may need to move some of the pictures on the wall around or something like that. I'm not ultra concerned about that for this video, but I'm just gonna come through here and I'm just gonna place all of this furniture or the furniture pieces that I want inside of this model. So I'm probably gonna speed this piece up because it's just moving things around and putting them where I want them to be. All right, so we're gonna call this furniture option number two. And so furniture option number two has a different furniture set in here than option number one. And if you remember, number one is still sitting here in this 3D space. And so what we wanna do with furniture option number two is we wanna take all of this furniture that we brought in, and we wanna put all of that in a group. So I'm just gonna take all of these furniture items, I'm gonna right click on them, and I'm gonna click make group. And so now what I have is I have another group that I'm just gonna rename in the outliner furniture option two. So now my furniture option is going to show up in here. Furniture option one isn't showing up because it's on that layer. Um, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer and I'm going to call it furniture option two. So I'm just going to click inside my layer section. I'm going to click add layer. And we're just going to say furniture option two. And we're just going to click on this group to select it and inside of our layers we're just going to come up here and we're just going to click the drop down and we're going to click furniture option number two here and so now 
this furniture option is on its own layer. So I can turn these layers on and off individually, just like this. So I can just come in here and I can flip back and forth between the two of them. And you can have them both on at the same time. I don't really know why you would want to, but you can have that in there as well. And so this is great. Um, now we don't really have to do anything else if we don't want to, um, because we can flip between these two. Probably what I would do in this particular situation though, is I would go ahead and I would create a couple different scenes to display the two options. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off furniture option two and I'm going to turn on furniture option one. I'm just going to go to view animation. I'm going to click on add scene and we can go ahead and right click on this and in 2019 they added the ability to rename a scene. So we're just going to call this furniture option one. And so now I'm going to take this and I'm gonna turn off furniture option one and I'm gonna turn on furniture option two and I'm just gonna right click in here and I'm gonna add another scene. So now I have two scenes that are saving those layer visibilities so you can see what the different furniture options are going to look like. So I can right click and I'm, I can rename this furniture option two just like this. So you can see I can click back and forth between these scenes. And one thing to note about this is if for whatever reason this isn't saving your layer state, um, you can go into your scene section of your uh, tray and if you scroll down, you just want to make sure that in each one of these furniture options, the setting for visible layers is checked. So when you check the box for visible layers, what that means is this scene is going to save the layer visibility inside of that model. So you can use this to really quickly create multiple different options for different furniture layouts and other things like that inside of SketchUp. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Is this how you display different options inside your models? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.